Hey there, Witcher! In order. Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalet Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. Thank you. May the gods protect you. My legs hurt. Your ass will too in a minute. So, recruit, happy with your career choice? Not really. In my time, it served my country. I wanted to be a cheesemaker. A cheesemaker? I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. Really? With these cunts, Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack. Let alone Yorveth. He succeed. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. From the skull. Yeah, Sniffing Brown. around like Brown. dogs in a rubbish dump. Wall bang, kicked him in the arse. Brown wall, brown wall. Oh, you are fuck dirty rotten scum. Brown Don't you traipse wall. around here. Do that again. And I'll fuck you, mum. Brown wall. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? <laughs> What do you need, ugly? I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right, it'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse. Two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Haven't had this good a time in ages. <laughs> That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the Did park. you hear? Pramble, Two... Pramble. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. You've had your song. Care for some real <laughs> diversion? <laughs> Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little <sighs> apple skipping down the path. Pram all, pram all. Along came a dwarf bag kicking in the arse. Pram all, pram all. Oh, you are fuck dirty rotten. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. 
Thank you, ma'am. Plow them all! You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? They say witches have no need to plow. Did you know that? Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Tend to the ballista, Geralt. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win, you'll have beat a Witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good old fella? The Grey Wolf? Hmm. All right. Let's begin. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Care for a little diversion, brave one. I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Laredo's busy with that witch, Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? What monster? I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck! Alright, I'll distract the guard, 
You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Soldier, report to me immediately. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life. You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, Sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, Sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late.
Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You! I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch! Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. No passage. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. Your point, Commandant? You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. 
That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairin has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Kairin and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoia'tael commander and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Oh, you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. I'd put him in their place. You'd all talk. Prove it. I doubt anyone would stop you. We're too soft on them, that's the problem. Soldiers are born. Don't forget your blade. Tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your hmm, a notice board. Might find something interesting here. Yet another witch. It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. Damn, that was close. Innkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. I think I've heard enough about politics. No wedding, Zoltan? Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup could have held a pin drop. Old Breckenwood rose and he says, A real dwarf works a bine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenwood says. 
then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Scoia'tael, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoia'tael were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out.